the wall of fire that surrounds us and the glory in our midst. According to Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5, we honor you and worship you for being that wall of fire. And tonight we lift up our voices and we begin to pray as you are the wall of fire around us you led the children of Israel by a pillar of fire during the night Father we pray that in these dark times you will lead us in these difficult times you will light our paths your word is a light unto our path it is indeed a lamb to our feet. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will be our guiding light. That even in the darkness, when no man can walk, when no man can see where they are going, we will see where we are going. Father, we thank you because you are the wall of fire around us. We decree and declare tonight your glory and your honor in our midst we thank you because the fire is visible even the children of Israel were able to see the glory because it manifested as the fire we thank you for visible salvation we thank you for impactful ministries we thank you for visible spirituality. We thank you for visible righteousness. There is a wall of fire that cannot be hidden. We are like a lamp on top of, we, we are like a lamp that has been hidden, that has been lit and cannot be put under a bar. We are like a city on top of the hill that cannot be hidden. Come on, somebody, just lift up your voice and praise him for the wall of fire that he is. He's a guiding light. He's your visibility. He is with you as a mighty and terrible one. The fire manifested before the children of Israel. And they were terrified. Your word in Psalms chapter after 50 says that you are coming nearer and your devouring fire goes ahead of you. Father, we thank you for the fire that is creating terror so that the enemy will not come nigh our dwelling place so that the enemy will not touch us so that the enemy will not hurt us just continue to pray around the wall of fire we have learned so much about this wall of fire the wall of fire is more than just a wall he is he is a light. He is our visibility. He is terror to our enemies. He is fright to our enemies. The consuming fire does not leave any stone untied. Everything will turn to ashes. The diseases are burning right now. The fear is burning right now. The heart is burning right now. The confusion is burning right now. It burns to ashes right now. Call upon the wall of fire. Decree and declare the wall of fire to be that consuming fire that destroys the works of the enemy. That 
destroys witchcraft that destroys heart that destroys confusion in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this wall of fire. We thank you for this wall of fire. We thank you because you are the God who answers by fire. Thank you for answered prayers. Begin to thank him. Tonight there will be answered prayers. Tonight there will be a manifestation of the glory of God. Tonight revelation will meet sincerity and openness. And there will be miracles in the name of Jesus. Just thank him for this wall of fire in the name of Jesus. Let us take this means to lift him up. Father, we glorify you. We lift you up. We raise our voices and glorify you. We say thank you, King of Kings. We say thank you, Lord of Lords. We say thank you, Heavenly Father. We say thank you, Master. We say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for being that wall of fire and the glory in our midst. We welcome you into this blessed, precious Holy Spirit as we welcome you into every house, into every room, into every family, among every household. Father, you have said that where two or more are gathered, you are already in our midst. Father, the threefold call cannot easily be broken. And tonight it is you. Tonight it is your family. And tonight it's the Holy Spirit. You are the threefold cord that cannot easily be broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome all of you to our Friday evening service. You are highly welcome. We want you to know that we are blessed and honored to be able to come into your houses tonight. And we expect a power-packed night. The presence of the Lord is already here. There is a wiping of tears. There is deliverance. There is a manifestation of the glory of God. The honor, the power of God will be made manifest in a manner that you have no expectation of. For I have not seen. The ear has not heard. The mind has not even imagined what God has in stock for you tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. I am duly informed that the Jessica Kayanja Facebook page can be accessed. The Robert Kayanja Facebook page can be accessed. The Jessica Kayanja YouTube can be accessed as well. The Robert Kayanja YouTube, which used to be the, the, the most popular, Robert Kayanja YouTube, a single will be available very soon. Um, so please be informed as well that there are fraudsters on social media and, uh, and they, they are calling people, they are, they are mobilizing people online and they are pretending to be us. And, uh, and, and they, are demand, they are talking about our orphanages and they are demanding money and I've been through that 
again and again, we don't raise money uh, on social media. We don't raise money for our orphanages or schools. So whoever does that is is wrong. Tetukunganya sente ku social media outlets za fezona ni wangu wado kusonda sente za ba molekwa na masomero ga fe. We are not raising money for the bucket project on social media either. Ne sente za bucket project tetukunganya za ku social media. So they are crazy. And please raise the alarm when you see them uh, pretending to be as they are using our pictures. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us go straight into the word. Father, one more time, I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there be anything in me, that is more of me. That I will decrease right now. Even as you increase. I pray that you will anoint my tongue. Like the pen of a ready writer. For clarity of speech. So that no one will live the same way they came. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. That as your word goes forth tonight the day will be a separation between evil and good. That the glory of God will be made manifest in the name of Jesus. That the Holy Spirit will intercede for us. And Lord, I pray one more time that your word will come forth from the lips of the people that hear. That there will be groanings that cannot be uttered. And the oracles of God will be proclaimed in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I want to welcome all of you who are watching us via Azam. Kwazam TV, Zuku, Kuzuku, Star Time, Kusa Times, um, DSTV, Ko DSTV, and um, Free to Air. Nabaliko Free to Air. We are blessed. To have you with us tonight. And may God bless you as you attend this service with us. I want to welcome everyone on the online chat group. I can see you, Margaret Minge. I can see you, Kababito. I can see you, Connie, Jake Jacktel, Feva Garamia, Connie Nakati, Flavia Knight, Sarah. Um, I, it's a full house. <laughs> uh, wonderful to see you. Um, I can see all of you. It's a full house. Fever. Uh, wow. Connie, it's moving very fast. You are all welcome. Peru, I can see you. Wow. I am Bavazi. I can see you. Wow. You are all welcome. You are all welcome. Um, I want to, 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 to be certain whether the YouTube network is on. If it is not, I would like to direct the people either to the Facebook pages. Yes, if you can get onto the Facebook pages for those of you who are struggling with network. network, and, Facebook. And, 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 and tune in for tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Zachariah chapter 2, verse 5 again. Zachariah 2, verse 5 again. And I will be the wall of fire that surrounds her. And the glory in her midst. And Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 says. His eyes. 
are like a flaming fire. We are still looking at the eyes of God. The flaming fire that surrounds us. And looks at everything. And sees everything. Hallelujah. Allow me to read the scripts for tonight before we go into the word. The first one is from John, um, is from Luke chapter 7. I would like to begin at verse 39. When the Pharisee who asked Jesus to come to his house saw this, he thought to himself if Jesus were a prophet he would know the woman touching him is a sinner Jesus said to the Pharisee Simon I have something to say to you Simon said teacher tell me Jesus said two people owed money to the same banker one owed 500 coins and the other owed 50. They had no money to pay what they owed. But the banker told both of them they did not have to pay him. Will, 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 which person will the banker love more? Simon the Pharisee answered, I think it would be the one who owed him the most money. Jesus said to Simon, you are right. Then Jesus turned to the woman and said to him, do you see this woman? When I came into your house, you gave me no water for my feet. But she washed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss of greeting. But she has kissed, she has been kissing my feet since I came in. You did not put oil on my head. But she poured perfume on my feet. I tell you that her many sins are forgiven. So she showed great love. But the person who is forgiven a little we will love only a little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. Let us go to the, the, the next text. It is in John chapter 1. I will begin at verse 43. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee. And he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida. Philip Bethesda. The city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathaniel. Philip and say to him, Namugamba. We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote. Jesus of Nazareth, yes, so in Nazareth, the son of Joseph, and Nathaniel said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. I want to repeat verse 46. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and 
and see. Hallelujah. Amen. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. You need to use your eyes. You need to look clearly. You need to see again. You cannot look at only the bad side. Nathaniel, come and see. We have found the one the prophets talked about. But Nathaniel had what they called bias. And it is called unconscious bias. Or implicit bias. When people are unconsciously they are unaware that they dislike something. They have a preconceived opinion about something. And the human eye is influenced by the human mind. And we are all predisposed to unconscious bias. We are all predisposed to this implicit bias. You don't go into a place hoping to be biased. But when you use your eyes and you look at something, you will either think it is good or it is bad. You will either think it is beautiful or it is ugly. You will either think it is rich or it is poor. Even if you don't say it, there is an unconscious bias that is stirring up within you. And you have already formulated an opinion. And you have already set some kind of stereotype about the way people are because of what they look like. Art, they look like through your eyes. Nathaniel had created an opinion about Nazareth. He had decided that from the look of Nazareth, nothing good could come out of Nazareth. I want to give you a, 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 a a, a historic um, uh, some of the historic findings about Nazareth according to archaeological students Nazareth was a small village archaeologists have proved that they could have been 150 people in Nazareth or even less as residents. It is not a town or an urban area that you would uphold. It was not in those days. It was not a place that you would expect anything spectacular. It was not a place that you would expect anything glamorous. It was not a place that you would expect a king to come from. Neither a renowned prophet. It was not a place in which you would expect history to date back to. It was a small, miserable looking village. And now Philip is looking into Nathaniel's eyes. And he's telling him Jesus the Christ is in that small village. Jesus the Christ originates from that 150 populous place. Jesus the Christ is coming from that small village and Nathaniel already has a preconceived mindset. 
He has an opinion about Nazareth. He can see only what is bad. He can see only what is evil. And so that is the human mind. He can see only what is not of God. And he says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? I don't know whether there are any bad things that he had witnessed come out of Nazareth. But I know that the bias was created the bias kwegamba o o o o o o o o obuteka kasa chifochino yes okulowoza anti chibichi nafu amen was created by 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 the by what his eyes could see olwecha masoko begali galaba he could see something small nga yalaba buntu mutono he could see something tiny alaba obuntu butidikitu he could see a few villagers alaba abokalo batono they were not necessarily zealous people or passionate about the coming of Christ. They actually rejected Jesus and his ministry. And Jesus was welcomed in the other towns. And you can see that he wasn't that upheld in Nazareth. But Nathaniel asks because of his bias is can anything good come out of Nazareth because the eyes of man are a biased eye the eyes of man and is an eye that has a preconceived opinion. The eyes of man are controlled by his by his mind. And our minds have what they call unconscious bias. We look at things and we imagine that that is how they are and that is how they will ever be. But the eyes of God are different. This is what the Bible says about the eyes of God. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 13 says the eyes of the Lord are everywhere observing the evil and the good the eyes of the Lord are everywhere observing the evil and the good the eyes of the human being will make up their minds the eyes of the human being will decide whether something is good or whether something Thing is bad according to what they have been taught according to the standard set for them but the eyes of God will see the, weak, the evil and they will also see the good according to Proverbs chapter 15 verse 3 in Psalms chapter 1 verse 6 he says for the Lord knows the way of the righteous but the wicked will perish and then he says God sees the evil and the good and he is displeased with the evil but he approves the good God sees the evil and the good and he is displeased with the evil but he approves the good God's eye is never biased he is able to look at something 
and see the evil and see the good and be displeased with the evil oh come on someone I'm excited tonight and be disproved with the evil but approve the good allow me to get into my sermon tonight there is a prostitute woman who goes into the houses of one of the Pharisees where Jesus has been invited and she goes up to the feet of Jesus and she falls on the feet of Jesus and she begins, begins to cry tears and she begins to wipe her hair use her hair to wipe the feet of Jesus and she cleans his feet but Jesus has gone into the house of the Pharisees and the Pharisee is looking at this prostitute with a human eye and the Pharisee already has a preconceived mind a preconceived opinion about this woman he already knows she's a prostitute and nothing she does can make her look good according to the Pharisee so while she's wiping the feet of Jesus the Pharisee is looking on and he's saying look at this Jesus if he knew what type of woman this was he would not allow her to even touch him but the eyes of the Lord they see the evil and they also see the good they are, dis they are unhappy about the evil but they approve the good Jesus has seen this woman he has seen her evil past maybe she was even wearing her evil upon her maybe her clothes were skimpy maybe she was naked I don't know what she had on her that caused the, the Pharisee to look at only the back but the eye of the human being is a biased eye it is an eye in which unconscious bias will reign but the eye of God looks at the evil looks at the good disapproves the evil but approves the good Jesus said no she may be an evil woman but there is something good about her there is something in which she has been better at doing than you the Pharisees that are supposed to be righteous when I came into your house you did not wash my feet when I came into your house you did not clean me when I came into my, your house you did not take care of me but this woman even though I see some evil there is a good sign the eyes of God according to Psalm chapter 1 verse 6 they see the evil and they see the good as well he said I see the good in her I see the good in her she was able to wash my feet despite her evil representation she was able to welcome me despite her evil representation she was able to love on me despite her evil representation and we see her in a, we see Jesus in another version saying everywhere that she will go everywhere that, that the gospel will be preached this woman will go as well this woman will be talked about as well we thank God for the eyes of God because they are not biased eyes they look at the good and they look at the bad as well I know there is someone watching me tonight 
and you are looking at the evil in your marriage and it is all that you can see may the eyes of God look for you so that you can see the good in your marriage they may be evil but at least your husband is still there they may be evil but at least you are still married to him they may be evil but at least God has given you children they may be evil but at least you are still alive they may be evil but you are not sick the eyes of God they look at the evil and they look at the good as well oh may God see for you tonight take your biased eye out of the picture and see through God's eyes take your unconscious eye out unconscious biased eye out of the picture and let God see for you there is someone who is looking at their business and you see an evil business you see a business that has incurred losses you see a business that is going nowhere you see a business that has been of no help you are looking at it in the human eye you are concentrating on only what is evil you are concentrating on only what is not good but the eyes of God see the evil the eyes of God see the good may God see for you tonight so that you do not look in a biased manner so that God will open your eyes and you will see things from the point of balance of Jesus Christ our Lord hallelujah there are people here you are watching me and you can only see what is negative in your place of employment you hate your boss you feel his evil you hate your salary you feel it is evil you are looking at your workplace from the eyes of a man but God looks at the evil and he looks at the good as well may God see for you before you run away because you may run away and miss the best you may run away and close every opportunity for yourself you may run away and, and destroy your own future the eyes of God will see the evil but they also see the good he looked at the prostitute and he said Simon you are thinking about this woman you are thinking about how immoral she is but my eyes do not look at only evil my eyes look at what is good as well my eyes look at what is righteous as well this woman has loved on me this woman has worshipped me this woman as evil as she is she has gone on to her feet and washed my feet oh I'm talking to someone tonight you may have a preconceived opinion about somebody and you are sitting there and judging them because of a past mistake but you, are surpri you will be surprised when the Lord prepares for them a table into, in your very presence because you are looking at the past you are looking at the evil side but God sees the evil and he sees the good his eyes move to and fro his eyes are not biased his eyes will not stay at one sector may God see you maybe you are one of those people who have 
people have had um, an opinion about they have despised you because of something they know about they have put you down because of something they've heard about you they gossip about you because of the weaknesses they see but God sees the evil and the good tonight may God see you tonight may God speak, see you tonight may God talk about you tonight may God declare and, and prophesy regarding your situation Jesus opened his mouth and defended this woman in front of the Pharisees not about her evil but about her good may Jesus open his mouth tonight and defend you not about the mistakes you've made but about the years that you have been on his feet about the years that you have worshipped him about the time that you have gone on your feet and been in his presence may God defend you among your skeptics among the people who can only see the negative things about you. May God look at you the way he looked at the prophets, prostitutes and defend you regarding the good side of, of you and the good side was not complicated. Out of the, all the evil she did she did only one good thing. She came to the feet of Jesus. She began to cry. She began to wipe his feet. That is the instance of worship. That is the instance of lifting him up. That is the sweet aroma. That is how to glorify him with all the evil that happened to her. She did one good thing tonight Jesus sees the evil but he also sees the good tonight Jesus sees the mistakes but he also sees the praises tonight Jesus sees your confusion but he has also seen your worship oh the evil woman went at the feet of Jesus and while the other people could only see what is evil Psalm chapter 1 verse 6 says the eyes of God see the evil and the good the eyes of God see the evil and the good and they disapprove of the evil but they uphold the good tonight may God's eyes be on you may he defend you for your good in the name of Jesus I speak to you tonight if there are accusations if there are allegations if there is gossip about you if there is turmoil and confusion may God open his mouth and speak for you may he look at the evil but may he also look at the good Jesus decided to look at the good and then Nathaniel is invited by Philip to this village called Nazareth he says come and see this Jesus of Nazareth we have found him the ones the prophets talked about the one Moses intimated the one that we have been waiting for 
And Nathaniel says, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Because Nathaniel is looking at Nazareth in the eyes of a human being. Nathaniel is looking at Nazareth from a biased point of view. Nathaniel, Nathaniel is looking at Nazareth from a physical point of view. And Philip says to him, Come and see. Come and see. Philip, Philip had been visited by God. Philip, Philip was looking through the eyes of God. And out of a despised village, out of a small village, was a rising a king. You are looking at me tonight. And you are saying, can anything good come out of this business? Can anything good come out of my career? Can anything good come out of my health? Can anything good come out of my marriage? Can anything good come out of my ministry? Can anything good come out of my destiny? Today I make a an invitation like Philip. Philip I am saying to you come and see it through the eyes of God there is something good because God looks at evil but he also looks at the good oh may your eye, God's eyes be on your family may God's eyes be on your business may God's eyes be on your health May God's eyes be on your children. May God's eyes be on your ministry. May God's eyes be on your health. Can anything good come from Nazareth? May God's eyes be upon you the way they were on the prostitutes. When God's eyes are on you, the evil is sin, but the good is also sin. Saul was on his way to persecute the church. He was a murderer. He was a, 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 an abuser of the people of God. But on his way, God sees him. And God sees the evil. But he also sees the good. He sees that in this matter, there is a bold man in this matter. There is a man who is strong enough to go forth and declare a word in this murderer there is a determined man in this murderer there is a man that I can use his eyes see the evil but they also see the good oh God may you see me tonight oh God may you see my children tonight oh God may you see my husband tonight Oh God, may you see my marriage tonight. Oh God, may you see my health tonight. He looked at Saul, but he saw Paul. He saw two people, an evil person, but a good person. The eyes of the Lord, according to Psalm 1 verse 6, are able to see what is evil and what is good. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. May God see you tonight. The way he saw the prostitute. May God open his mouth for you. May God see you tonight. He went to the woman at the well at Samaria. She was a loose woman who slept with different men. Another physical man.
man would have walked away. They would have said, I don't want to associate with that. They would have said, I don't want to run away from that. I don't want to, to I would rather run away from that. But Jesus saw an immoral woman. But he also saw an evangelist. He said with the same father that she has been immoral. She can preach as well. Jesus sees the evil. But he also sees the good. The eyes of God see the evil. And they are also seeing the good. And Jesus had a conversation with her. And before the conversation was done, she had turned into an evangelist. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of your preconceived opinion? Can anything good come out of your unconscious bias? Use the eyes of the Lord. The eyes of the Lord have never been biased. They see the evil. But they also see the good. They see the evil. But they also see the God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Tonight, we are going to pray that God will see us. Many people have looked at us through the eyes of the Pharisees. They have been the righteous ones. They have been the holy ones. They have had a preconceived opinion about you. They believe that we are, you are the failure. They believe that you are the evil one. They believe that you are the sick one. But the eyes of God will look at the evil. But they also look at the good. They disapprove of the evil. But they approve of the good. May God see you through his unbiased eyes. May God see you with his balanced eyes. May God view you from a divine point of view. Hallelujah. Joshua and Caleb when they are sent to spy with the other spies that went to spy on the promised land come back with them in Numbers chapter 13 verse 31 and the other spies had looked at the promised land with a biased eye they saw giants they saw enemies and they decided to concentrate on those they decided to concentrate on what was evil they decided to concentrate on what was bad I have bad news for you today. There is no place that is perfectly good on the earth. You only need perception. You only need perspective. There will never be a place with perfect people. And even if it existed, it would become imperfect when you went because you are not perfect but God gives you perception he gives you perspective so that you are able to look at what is positive to see the evil but to also see the good have you met people who every time they approach you they are discussing evil so and so said this 
so and so did this so and so hates you so and so dislikes you they are looking at things through the, the eye that is physical the eye that is human even if even if 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 yes in the garden had Satan Satan penetrated her mind and influenced her opinion and she began to see what was a blessing as a curse she complained about the garden they, she talked about God she said God did not want them to become like, like him forgetting that God has the power to put anybody in that garden that is the problem with our eyes they will always confuse us Joshua and Caleb go to spy out the land and they come back and the rest of the spies have a preconceived opinion and conscious bias is already operating and when they come back they declare the land was full of giants. The land has enemies in it. But Caleb and Joshua look at this land. Look at this promised land in the eyes of God. And they say, we went to that land. And indeed it was a land that flows with milk and honey. Let us go in. These were the words of Caleb. Let us go in and possess it. For we are well able to overcome the enemy. May God cause your eyes to look through his eyes. May God see you tonight. May God see you tonight. May God see your business. May God see your children. May God see your family. May God see your marriage. May God see your ministry. We come against every pharisaical spirit that has arisen in us that has caused us to be biased that has caused us to be opinionated that has caused us to be proud that has caused us to concentrate on the evil and be blind to the good we rebuke every spirit that causes spiritual blindness so that we will concentrate on what is wrong instead of what is right God see our marriages for us and show us the good and show us the bad God see our ministries for us and show us the good and show us the bad God see our businesses for us may we not see only the bad show us the good as well God see our health for us. May we not only see the bad. Show us the good as well. God see everything that is ours for us. So that we will not see just the bad. That we will see the good as well. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse our mouths. 
Cleanse our lips so that we will speak from the eyes of God. We will be like Joshua and Caleb. We will speak from the good point. We will see the evil. But we will declare the good in the name of Jesus. For we know that whatever we decree and declare, it will indeed be established in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, tonight, we pray that you will cause us to see again. Even as Philip begged Nathaniel when he said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Lord, cause us to see again through your eyes so that we will see the good around us in the name of Jesus. And master one more time. So many of us are watching and we are depressed and we are heartbroken because of people who can only see the evil side of us. We are asking you to look at us through your eyes in Psalms chapter 1 verse 6. Those eyes that will be able to see the evil and disapprove it and the good and uphold it. Father, look at us. See us and uphold the good. You are not a biased God. The word of God separates born and marrow spirit and soul. When people look, all they see is a bone. But when God sees, it's not just a bone. You see the bone. But there is also some marrow inside there. Lord, see the marrow in us. and separate it from the moon. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. His eyes are like a flaming fire. His eyes are like a flaming fire. As the psalmist comes on, as Dennis comes on to minister, I I. Dennis, as Brother Dennis comes on to minister, I feel that we can go further in worship and ask God to see for us so that we will not be so negative. And sometimes we are so positive that we ignore the negative side of things. But we will look at that tomorrow. As Brother Dennis comes on to minister, may we dedicate our spirits, our hearts, our businesses, our children, our marriages, whatever you have thought of as evil, as painful, as time wasting, God can cause you to see something good in Nazareth. God can cause you to see something wonderful coming out of something despised. May we dedicate our spirit to it. As the psalmist come on. It doesn't matter how much you have been despised. 
God and see you and see the good in you like he did for the prostitutes. And he can defend you. May God bless you. So, Kayo, 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 so,